Welcome, rock star, to your HIT class. I'm Coach Nisha. Thank you for joining me for this super fun and quick workout. This is just going to be one circuit, three sets, 30 seconds each move. So even though it's super quick, I really want you to focus on intentional movement today. So don't just zombie it out and just move through the motions. Really pay attention to the cues that I'm giving you. Feel that alignment and engagement in your body. So for your equipment today, you are going to need an optional elevated surface for some mountain climbers, so an ottoman or a chair, whatever you have handy, and some weighted objects. I have dumbbells. You can get creative, raid your kitchen, get some cans of beans, bottles of wine, jugs of water, whatever you have to add a little extra resistance, and of course some space to move. So with that said, let's get into this. This first set, we're really going to warm up our bodies, so start with a lighter weight here. Just to get your muscle memory, going. We're going to start with some squats to presses. So standing tall, I'm starting my timer. Okay, so standing tall, engage that core, your belly button's up and in, your pelvis is slightly tucked, shoulders are back and down, and you're going to bring those weights to your shoulders with your wrists facing each other. Now shoot those hips back for a body squat, drive with the heels, squeeze them through the top, and pressing those weights up for that press. Shoot those hips back, knees tracking along with those toes, really squeezing those glutes at the top, going to help you to support that core engagement, which is so important here, especially because you're adding this additional weight to your upper body. So we're going to go for five more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Bend your knees and drop those weights. We're moving on to some mountain climbers. So of course, you're welcome to do this down on your mat and tall plank, or you can join me elevated for the modification. Then you're going to bend your knees, point your hands with your shoulders, and step it back to that tall plank. Really feel that form right off the bat, looking ahead of your fingertips, pressing away through those hands. That core is engaged so that your back is nice and flat and you're strong through your legs, pressing away. Now from here, we're going to draw that right knee in towards your chest, step it back, left knee in, step it back. Keep alternating there. Try to maintain that strong stability in that plank form, even as you move through this. You're really trying to isolate the movement to those legs. And you can pick up the pace if you like, but you can always keep it low impact. You'll still get a great workout. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Well done, y'all. Let's move it down to the mat. We're going to get some core work in. Just meet me on your back. <sighs> Bent knees. We're going to engage that core. Your belly button is up and in. Pelvis is slightly tucked. So your back is flat, making gentle contact with the mat. Now, <laughs> trying to really get that timer going. You're going to tuck that chin and roll up for a sit up here. Get to the top and cross punch right left with control, articulate the spine back down to the ground, and roll it up, punch, punch. Great work, really control that movement, down back to the mat, don't let it flop. You want to end up in the same engagement as you started, with your back gently pressing towards the mat. Great work. You also, if you have something that you can hook your feet under, you need that additional assistance while you get strong in this control. You can totally do that. Let's do one more. You're doing so well. Punch, punch. Great. All right. Me standing. We've got some Super Mario's here. So let's start out. If you're standing nice and tall, it'll be about in the middle of your mat. Shoulders are back and down, core is engaged, feet are hip distance apart. You're going to step straight back with that left leg into a reverse lunge, drive the front heel, and drive up that left knee. Keep that up. Your hips and your shoulders are staying uh, <laughs> neutral, so they're facing the wall. You're really driving through that front heel, drawing up that knee towards your chest, getting that bonus core work in. That's not Super Mario, because you're punching up to get that treasure. Five more seconds, you can have a little hop at the top, landing lightly, 
two, one. Woo, well done. All right, we're gonna move on to single leg standing, side crunch on the left side, but we're splitting it up a bit. Catch your breath, standing tall. Bring those hands behind your head, drawing those elbows towards each other. And we're gonna do an oblique crunch here. So bring that left knee up to your left elbow. Be mindful that you keep that chest open. You're not arching your spine. I like to imagine that I'm in between two walls and I don't want my back or my butt to touch it. So it's keeping this nice, strong core engagement and isolating the work to that oblique. Whew. Keep my foot out, pulling on your neck. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. On to right side. You got some Super Mario's. Here we go. Hit this apart. Set that right foot straight back. Drive the front heel. So you're also welcome if you have a wall beside you. You can use it to help support this form. Hips are nice and neutral. You're welcome to take this up to the higher impact. I'm gonna stay low impact here just because my left side is not as strong as my right. And I want to keep good form. Three more seconds. Two and one. Whew. Great work. On to standing side crunch on the right side. Arms up behind your head. Squeeze between your shoulder blades. Let's do it. Core is nice and pulled in. Try not to twist your body. Try not to arch that spine. Breathe. This is our last move of the circuit. So good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done, y'all. Powered through that. Let's get some water. Slow down that breathing. hard to hydrate when you're breathing so heavily. All right, y'all. Here we go. You ready for those squat depresses? Now that we're nice and warmed up, you can, of course, grab a little heavier weight if you like. You can also stay light. It's totally up to you. Our bodies are different every day. I'm going to try a little heavier, see how I feel. I'll always switch if I'm not feeling it today, okay? Get that engagement, strong core. Shoulders back and down. Weight on your shoulders. Let's do it, shoot those hips back. Press it up. Try not to shrug those shoulders. Really pay attention to where your knees are. You're actively tracking them in line with your middle toe. Keep that core nice and strong. Three more seconds, two, one. Woo, so good. All right, moving on to the mountain climbers. Take it to reverse knee leg. Plant those hands and send it back. This time we're gonna do cross body climbers. So, drive your right knee over to your left elbow and switch sides. Try not to Move that foot that's in the back. Keep those, <clears throat> pardon me, toes pointed straight towards the ground so that this twist is coming from the work in your core. You can pick up the pace here if you like. Three more seconds. Two, one. Great work. Meet me down the mat. Woo! For those sit up cross punches. Optional, you can grab some really light weights. Just a tiny bit of extra resistance here. 
All right, on your back. Engage that core, pelvis slightly tucked. You can grab those weights if you like. And roll it up with control. Punch, punch. Keeping that core nice and strong as you cross punch. You're engaged the whole time. That's why it's such a great move. Keep breathing. Roll that spine down. Try feeling this big time in your deep abdominal muscles. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. So good, y'all. Y'all are rocking this. All right. Think you're standing for the Super Mario's. Left side first. Get that strong form to start. Step back. Drive it up. Again, you're totally welcome to jump here. I am opting today to stay low impact. Because that's where I am. But if you're jumping, you're landing lightly, quietly, making sure that you're really landing in strong form with your hips neutral. One more. Great. Onto the left side, side crunch. Hands behind your head, elbows towards each other. Here we go. Really work those obliques. The side is always so much weaker for me. We're working on getting it stronger. Balance strength. Keep that core engaged. Check in. Don't pull on your neck. Standing strong through that right leg. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. So good. All right. Oh, catch your breath. All right. On to our Super Mario from the right side. There we go. Set that right leg straight back. Drive. Your knees are tracking. In line with the toes. Let's protect those joints. Really drive through that front heel. So good. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, on fire. All right. Right side crunch. Hands behind your head. Nice strong form. Let's do it. Don't pull on your neck. I'm not even touching my head here. You also always bring your arms, your hands away from your head if it's too much behind. Do whatever you need to do to keep that good, strong engagement. Feeling this in your obliques. Standing tall. Do that left foot. Three more seconds. Two, one. Whew, holy cannoli. All right. Breathing deep. You got this. My favorite part of the class, the water break. How you feeling, y'all? One more set, just one more, and we're done with this. Didn't I promise it was quick? I also promised it would be challenging, so I feel like I've delivered. All right. Y'all ready? We're gonna get into those squat presses. Pick the weight you like. Standing tall. Getting those weights aside. Woo, on your shoulders. There we go. Just shoot those hips back. Drive up, press up. We're not here for long. We be focused on a good form, those knees. Actively tracking, sitting back like you're sitting into a chair. Sitting mindful of the arch, your spine. 
especially if it is out of resistance. Three more seconds. Two, one. Wow. All right. Mountain climber show. Let's go back to the regular ones. Here we go. Let your hands set it up. Alternate knees, driving into your chest, keeping that core engaged, pressing away through those palms, shoulders staying over wrists. Make little impact if you need. You got this, keep that strong form. Don't let your hips lift or dip. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Almost there, y'all. You can down the mat. For those sit up cross punch. Grab that weight if you like. Here we go. Engage that core. And nice and set up strong. Roll it up. Punch, punch. Roll it down. Control. And tension behind every movement. <laughs> you got this. I know it's getting challenging. The further we get, we're almost there. Deep breaths. Check in that you're still articulating that spine. Last one. Well done. Drop those weights. On the Super Mario's. Keep me standing. Nice and tall. Hip distance apart. Sit the left leg back. Drive it up. High impact or low, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're actively tracking a knee along with the toe. Even as you land, like you're doing that little hop. Keep breathing. Keep your gaze neutral. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great work. Ooh. All right, glute. On fire. All right. Standing side crunch, left side. Hands behind your head. Core and fold in. Let's do it. Try and stand nice and tall. In that right leg. You can also use a chair if you have that to help support your balance here. I kind of wish I had, I'm getting tired. It'll really help you maintain good form. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Right side. Super Mario's. Standing tall. Here we go. Set that right foot straight back. Drive it up. One more move after this, y'all. Finish strong. We got this. Make sure you're really driving to that front heel, feeling into that left glute. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. One more move. For that standing. Side crunch. Catch my breath a little bit. Here we go. Hands behind your head. Nice pulled in core. Let's do it. Knee to elbow. Don't twist that torso. You're just reaching the elbow towards the knee. So close, y'all. Power to the standing leg. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Amazing. 
give yourself a bow. You nailed that. Whew. Let's take some deep breaths here. Join me as we breathe in and reach up and around. Grab that left wrist, pull it over to the right, pushing that left hip over to the left. Breathe in in the middle, grab your right wrist, pull it over to the left, pressing your right hip over to the right. Breathe in, middle in, give me a swan dive, bending over your legs, if you bend them a little bit. And roll up your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, so you're standing. Amazing work. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to have you along for the ride with me here. Please be sure to check in with me. I would love to hear how you did, what you loved, and 